back on another adventure on the uh, old abandoned Muscadabit rail line. Uh, it's uh, another beautiful day. This is the second trip I came down. I'm heading down to Lawrencetown. Oh, it's kind of a nice day, really. It was too nice to pass this opportunity up. I'm actually surprised there's not too many people on the trail right now. Probably will be later on. We're only at a well, just past Shearwater Airport. This is going to be crazy. Yep. Going down another biking expedition. I think this is what? The fifth time I've done a video of this silly thing. I don't know. It's kind of a bad habit of mine now. We're making videos of a trail nobody knows. Excess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Give you a, an ugly picture of my overgrown beard. If anyone's thirsty, you can come out here and have some water. It's a little uh, brownish, but I'm sure it would taste fine. I mean, it's just beautiful down here. This goes slow enough. Birds singing. It's a lovely spring day. Uh, it's... What's today? June 1st? I don't know. Is today June 1st? Anyone know what today is? I think so. Oh, look at that. All the way down there are some civilization coming this way. We're only doing about 70. A seven. Ha, Seventeen. Where did I get that from? The old rocks. Huh. This is a lot of fun. We're going back down the old Muscadabra rail line. Oh, leftover roadbed over there, I think. Just back. Oh, look, here's some people walking in. You never know who you're going to run into on this trail. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's 2.30. No, it's two minutes to 2.30, which... Ah, no, it's 2.30! Because I said so! There, thank you. Whoa, we're going a little fast. Going down a hill. There we go. Crank up some juice. We're going down a hill at 20. 30. You know, really, whoa, hello. Yeah, wipe out while this thing's recording. You guys would just love that. Me fall. Of course you would, it's funny. Now laugh. Let's go faster. Woo, potholes. Look, I'm doing one handed, almost 30K. This is ridiculous. Actually, that is a speed limit. <sighs> now we're doing 30. Oh, can't keep it home. Got a person on a horse up here. Let's slow down. Yeah. That's actually the first time I've ever seen anybody ride a horse on this trail. They're beautiful animals. We are now currently on location where the old coal train station used to be, generally speaking. Does anyone happen to know when the next train will be in? I've been sitting here for 30 years. Anyone? Hello? Sometimes when we uh, 
come down these trails, it's nice just to pull over somewhere and just stop and chill. Great thing about this particular trail is the, one of the beauties of it is there's really no limit to where you can stop because most of 90, at least the first part of this trail is surrounded by water right up till the number seven. So, I mean, there's plenty of places to go and relax. There's a lot of uh, wildlife here. Anyway, look down there, all the way down there. Anyone care to go for a swim? We're now just past uh, Lawrence Town on the uh, old railway. As you can see, it's kind of oh crazy here. This is the part. This is a nice view right here. Going past all this. Anyway, I'm just going to bike down another 20 minutes to the next road. I'm going to turn around and head back. I went a little further than Lawrence Town. Just wanted to. One day I'm going to. Still haven't found too much more railroad remains, of course. <laughs> Mostly everything would be long gone by now. There are still a few bits and pieces throughout the line. On my recent videos, I've shown pictures of some remnants. But yeah, it's just beautiful through here. There's a farm just up ahead. Now we are uh, just past Lawrencetown to the Three Harbor Road. Um, this is kind of where the trail comes. In. Last video we didn't really do any filming down this section. I'm only going to go biking for a little longer. I'm going to turn around and head back. I'm only going to go as far as to the next area. So I'll run out of sunlight if I'm not careful. Hey, let's have some fun. What's the amazing thing is I can hold, I can, <laughs> funny thing is, when I'm doing these videos, like, you can see how this place looks, I can bike with one hand, hold a camera in my left, but what else is funny is that if I ever needed to, if, like, say there's, Usually there's like we get like wild animals sometimes through here. Well rarely ever hear of any getting hurt or anything. But what the odd thing about it is I have one free hand and bike at the same time. Kind of not something I'd hope to ever have to try to do, but as you can see that's talent. I don't I wouldn't call it talent, I just call it cautious. I'm actually doing pretty good considering the amount of distance we've traveled already today. The sun's gonna start setting very shortly. So I don't wanna be out here too too late, otherwise be biking back in the dark. But, I've got three sets of lights and, oh, look at that, perfect. Please excuse me, we interrupt this video for a short, oh, you get the idea. Ladies and gentlemen, we will return after these messages. You are now entering Bunnyhood. You are now leaving Bunnyhood. Please be nice to the natural wildlife. Thank you and have a bad day. Thank you for your patience. We have now returned. <laughs> Sorry. Tried to make a little humor in an awkward situation. Oh well. When you're on the trail, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes.
just a word of advice to anyone who's actually planning to do these long distance bring toilet paper reason there's none in there just a word of advice wherever you go take some TP with you you may just find it's a lifesaver all right back to business riding the Muscadabit Railway Please excuse the crude short two minute interview as we continue down our ruthless, violent journey. To... What a little pond thingy there. Anyone ever come fishing out this way? If you have, what have you caught? Fish, sushi, that's actually the same thing. Oh, what does sushi taste like? I, I heard it's a bit salty. It's supposed to be really good. I'm not a sushi person. <sighs> All right, we are just coming up upon a pond. Yeah, we're coming up a pond. That does not make no sense whatsoever. Whoa! Can't drive this thing going crazy! Uh. Mmm, ferns. Ferdinand Jones. Something is wrong with this picture. There is a rock in the middle of the road and we are going to whack it, whack it. We whacked it. All right. I'm not sure if I really want to go any further. I mean, 5.30. Hmm. Let's go a little further. And then we'll turn around, head back, and have some beer. This is going to be another three mile video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does anyone uh, have a train whistle here? Or some sort of crossing lights? They really should install something. Or at least have some, like a sign or something that says, caution, trail ahead, pedestrian crossing or whatever. <laughs> like a railroad crossing on an old railroad track for uh, bikers and stuff and and people walking the dogs this is an awfully awkward situation as before you all know how I feel about filming people as I bike it's hard not to but I try not to because I'm a very mean person as you can see, we're doing 180 miles an hour down a 300 zone. This is the part of the railroad section I didn't really do much videoing on. However, I gotta be out of my mind going this far. I think I've gone too far. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I do have lights. So in case it does get a little too dark, come at home. Just turn on the old lights. I'll probably hook put them all up and, and blind anything that. Wait a minute. Where are we? Anyone know where we are? This is kind of giving you an in depth view of the old Muscadabit rail line. And what the cool thing is, I'm doing the riding, you're doing the watching. So think of it as getting a free train ride via compliments of Dragon. Oh, there's another trailer here. Remember before I came down here two years ago, there's trailers here. Yeah, there's one up there and 
now they have one here. Whoa. Yeah, it's an old armor all trailer. Uh, try to remember where the heck we are, where or somewhere. That whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. If I go too far, I'll end up hitting the highway. And if we hit the highway, we'll run into some problems, mate. <sighs> we can sing. I've been working on the railroad. Alright. Definitely need a train whistle. These cameras do not like to work when you want them to. Alright. I feel the need for... What is with bikes and the seats being awfully uncomfortable? I, I've got a gel seat on this thing and it just hurts. Anyway, uh, try to think where exactly I am. Uh, the uh, first video we didn't do this part of the, the route because about this point I received a red light that said your battery is getting low. Some trailers and all sort of goodies here. Yeah, okay, this this is this is the part we didn't do before. Now the reason I'm doing this really slowly and no it doesn't matter. Hey, I still have lots of battery. I could probably go all the way up the musket off it. That scared the what did I run over? I don't know, I ran over something and it wasn't pretty. Hello, my good man. Do, 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 do. Okay, remember in one of the videos I said where the trail gets really rough? That's rough. And, yeah, coming down this part. All right, this is the part of the trail. I really didn't get very, yeah, I remember this. Okay, now I know where we are. Wow, are we really this far already? I'm only going to bike just a little further. I'm turning around. Oh, the old ties. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see something cool. I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looks like a post of some kind. Yeah, definitely a post. Oh, we got some metal in here, too. Some scrap metal. Uh, what else? Yeah, an old post, a couple of posts there. Oh, oh. What did I step on? I stepped on something hard. A stike. I stepped on a stike. The last time I came in through here. Anyway, remember that old tie right there sitting in the ground. Now, it's kind of interesting because there's a row of ties right under this moss. Right under here, there's a, there's a row of ties, so... If I'm not mistaken, on this side of the trail was a siding of some kind. Now, I don't know what exactly, why there was a siding or what it was used for, or anything of that nature, but you can definitely tell, like, there's, and these ties are still, uh, if there's definitely a row of ties, and they're all overgrown. And they're just sitting here in the ground. What I'm standing on is a part of the railroad bed they didn't dig up. There's just a bunch of them. Yeah, oh, I'm getting low on battery again. But yeah, there's there's definitely ties under there. They're all overgrown and stuff. So I imagine back in the day, this used to be a lot bigger. This section. Uh, some parts of the trails, you will find stuff like this. Now, I'm not exactly sure where it went, but yeah, it doesn't look like it goes any further. It just stops up here. 
So I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, it was probably a siding of some sort. Some kind of old siding. They maybe storage or something like that. But there's no more ties here over in this section. Lots of water. All right. Now that we are continuing down the line, we're not going to go to Muscadaba today because, frankly, I don't feel like it and I don't want to spend the night on the side of the street up here either. So we're just going to go up a little further, turn around, go home, that I am going to go to sleep. No, not really. But I will make another video and continue this from where I left off at a later date. Um, I got to do some editing. But every time I come down this old rail line, there's always something cool to see. No kidding, you never know what you'll find. Just look at this nice, one of the old original bridges. Porter's Lake Canal. That's where we are. There's a canal in Porter's Lake. Lovely. All right, at the next road, we're turning around going back. Don't forget to blow your train whistles if you have any when you come out here, especially at the crossings. Two long, one short, one long. <laughs> Get an air horn. People think there's an actual train coming, really mess them up. Way up ahead is the road. And that's where we are turning right Yeah, We're nine minutes to get there. You can't hear this. Can't touch this. We are doing 80. It's lovely through here. Holy. Reason? I just don't want to. I love being ridiculously annoying. <clears throat> All right, I'm starting to reach my limit to as far as I feel like going. I'm getting tired, so I'm just gonna go a little further. Then we're going on the way back. Please enjoy the remainder of this video. Our next episode will be the continuation. Ooh, smash into a rock. All right. They really sh I've got a question for all you folks. Now, they clo as some of you may know or may not know, they have closed down the Windsor and Hansport Railroad. Leave some comments below about this. Now, in my honest opinion, since we don't have very many trades, they should use it and put a freaking commuter train in there and fix it up. It's what I think they should be doing. They, you know, there's talk of making it to make it into a trail and all that. I think just another trail is just plain ridiculous. And honestly, we've got enough damn trails in this province. So what they should be doing is fixing it all up and using it rather than scrapping it. Because uh, the Windsor and Hansport, or from Windsor Junction to uh, Wolfville, there's at least 31 miles of perfectly good track that someone could put a f commuter train on and have it go twice a day because we really have no bus service out that way and there's really nothing. This province is basically 
a lobster trap. The only way in and out is by car or fly, and they have nothing here. They do good business if they put something like that. All right, that's the end of this section of video. It's almost time for me signing off, so this is Lord Dragon Eye signing off. Uh, remember, if you want to save the Windsor and Hansport Railway, then post a comment about it. But I will warn you, any negative comments or rude comments will be deleted, so please be respectful. And don't post like something like you don't care. Alright, enough of my mumble jumble. I'll have a good night, people, and we'll see you the ne next time we go biking the Muscadamon Railroad Part 4. I leave you with this picture of the way we just came. Good night. <laughs>